Hey all, Will here with another development update video. We finally fixed an ongoing problem with the PS4 version of the game. You might remember from the last video that there was a bug that caused the game to crash uh, anywhere between 10 seconds to an hour after you started playing. It was a huge pain to track down. We ran over 150 soak tests to pinpoint where it was happening and to figure out the repro steps. Eventually, after about a week, we were able to track down the general area that was causing it. We then made a stripped down version of the game, removing all the audio and about 95% of the scenes. The project went from 50 gigabytes to about 1.5 gigs. We were able to then, we were still able to reproduce the bug with this minimum version, and we then reported it to Unity. They looked into it, and it turned out actually to be a bug on their end. So they sent us back a fix, and now we're able to play the PS4 version of Manifold Garden without it crashing during the first hour. So that was uh, the, the big thing uh, this past week. Besides that, we've been focusing on level design and general bug fixing. We've tracked down several memory leaks and also fixed a few shader issues. We've also started to work on Steam integration, getting achievements in, and so on. Aaron is now going to talk about a recent bug he fixed where water wasn't saving properly. Hey everyone, Aaron from the Manifold Garden dev team here bringing you a short explanation video on one of the bugs we fixed recently uh, because it's a very good example of how some of the systems in Manifold Garden interact kind of strangely with one another uh, and produce kind of weird results. Uh, so part of the way through Manifold Garden, players will interact with these water streams. Uh, you can redirect the water streams using cubes uh, with the little paths on top of the cubes redirect, like pointing in the directions uh, that the water will go in. Uh, so we got some reports of water not being redirected sometimes, and we eventually narrowed it down when uh, the water would redirect when you're playing the game, but then when you reload your save, it wouldn't be redirected anymore. It's kind of a weird thing. Uh, so we eventually narrowed it down to the placement of the cube uh, on the water stream actually determines whether or not it'll be redirected when you load the save. So if I reload the save right now, uh, the water stream would redirect fine because the cube is basically on the center with the water stream. But if I move the cube a little bit to the right, uh, it's no longer directly centered on the water stream. You can see that this side is a lot closer to the edge than this side is. Uh, and now if I reload the save, it would uh, not redirect the water stream correctly. And I'm going to show that right now. It's getting there. There we go. So now you can see that the water stream is not being redirected, even though I just reloaded the save where it was being redirected a moment ago. Um, eventually, uh, through a bunch of trial and error, I checked the save system to see if the water maybe thought it was being redirected, like there was a flag set somewhere, but it actually wasn't being redirected. I wasn't sure. Uh, but after checking through all the systems and everything, I discovered that uh, cu the cube colliders are acting a little bit funky. Uh, we actually, for cubes, have two colliders. We have the box collider, which is what you would expect. It's the collider that's in the shape of the cube to uh, help it, you know, not go through the floor. Uh, and then we also have a sphere collider, which is a little bit weird, because why would you have a sphere collider on a cube? Well, the reason we have that is because if you drag a perfect cube collider across the ground, sometimes it'll get caught on the edges of colliders and stuff like that, and then the player drops it because they, like, ran past it or whatever, you know. It just didn't feel very good. The easiest way to fix this is by adding a sphere collider that is ever so slightly larger than the box collider. By doing that, when you're sliding a sphere across the ground, you're actually touching the, the bottom of the cube is actually being uh, this sphere instead of the actual edge of the cube. That means when you run over an edge or something like that, it just bumps over the sphere instead of getting caught on the corner of a cube. So it just makes the game feel a lot better. The issue is, those sphere colliders that are helping smooth everything out, they're only supposed to be enabled while you're holding the cube, not when the game loads the cube, which is what's happening right now. As you can see, I'm not holding this cube, but it has the sphere collider enabled on it right now. This is the cube that I was just looking at, because that's my camera. Um, this is very clearly wrong. After looking through the scripts for a while, I came across this little bit of code, which basically says, 
when the cube is enabled, which happens when you load the game, it'll look through every collider that's on the cube, sphere collider, box collider, doesn't matter what shape it is, and it will enable it. So that's obviously not what we want, because sphere colliders are only supposed to be enabled while you're holding the cube. Uh, the fix for this is very simple. We just need to check if the collider is a sphere collider, we skip it. If it's not a sphere collider, so if this collider is not a sphere collider, then we enable it. So this makes it um, so that whenever a cube is first loaded, it'll be like, okay, uh, looking through this object here, we have this, none of these are colliders, so it doesn't care about them. It sees, okay, here's a sphere collider. So because this is a sphere collider, we're not going to run this code and we skip it and we don't enable it. Uh, and then, sorry, I clicked that on exit. Uh, and then it gets to the box collider. It's like, okay, we need to enable the box collider. Um, so making that small change actually fixes this bug. Uh, oh, I re it. One second. So I'm actually going to reload the save here and show you that it's fixed. It'll need a second to recompile. Now I'm going to reload that save that we just made with the cube not being redirected. The water isn't being redirected, as you can see in the picture here, because we saved the snapshot with the save. And there we go. Now that the save is reloaded, you can see that the water is very clearly being redirected by the cube. And if we go check the cube uh, in the inspector here, you will actually see that the cube has the sphere collider off, but the box collider's on, just like I uh, was explaining. So yeah, that's uh, that's what that bug was and how we fixed it. It was a pretty simple fix for something that was kind of a weird issue. That's it for this time. This video is a bit shorter than the other ones we've done because a lot of the console stuff we're doing now we're not allowed to talk about. And also, it's just a lot of content production. We're just grinding away. But we're, we're making progress, and that's all that's important. Anyway, thanks for watching. If you want to stay up to date, we have a mailing list you can sign up for. You can subscribe to this YouTube channel. I'm on Twitter. We have a Discord. I stream development pretty much daily. And you can wishlist the game on Steam. All the links can be found in the video description. That's it for this time. Thank you for the support, and I will see you around.